everyone, and welcome to episode 115 of Two Left Thumbs, your podcast that doesn't know what the fuck it's doing anymore. I am your host, Deft Puppies. Joining me this week to talk some shit is someone who has has, has a few podcasts going. Just, and, just a few. And, and the third... <laughs> And, and and the third Dan in my collection of Dans. Wait, Dan what? Infinity. <laughs> <laughs> well, Good morning, sir. How are we? I was very comfortable until you said I was in a collection of Dans. <laughs> well, well, uh, look, now so, you're going to have to win me back. All right, so there, there is, <laughs> the, I've, I've had three Dans on the podcast. Um, there was Dawn of okay. Dead Dan, which suitably was the first Dan who okay. originally started the podcast. He was one of the okay, first he, hosts. Of course, he's right. the Don. We, we, Don we confirmed that at the meetings. Um, Got it. Yep. And then we have um, Winky. Who was okay. My, yep, yep. So he, he's, hey. he's, my bro, he's my broken Dan. And, okay. and now I yep. have you, and you're, you're, my, you're yep. my infinite Dan. So I, I I feel like I should like get you guys on like some cufflinks and then like <laughs> snap everyone into dance. Because <laughs> you can't use the gauntlet; it's already been done, right? Right, so, right. With, like cufflinks or a nice tie clip, I can like get like little little gems representing you, and it'd be sweet. I will say the dance that I know. I enjoy the dance that I know, right? I've, I've never I, met I've, a Dan I haven't liked. I'm much the same. Yeah, there may be I've one. met a Danny I don't like. Oh, there, there's Dannys that, are that, no good. that loose, that loose Y in there. You, you don't want that. It's, <sighs> well, the, yeah, it's Sully's just like, the name, right? <sighs> it's just like Danny, go down to the store, steal that car, come back here. You hear me, Danny? All right, Danny. Danny's a good guy. Danny's a good guy. <laughs> Danny's not a good guy. It's not a good guy. It's um interesting. Speaking of names, I um I know another podcast. It's called the Todd Cast, and it's three guys named Todd that interview people named Todd, and it is the funniest shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I'm here oh, for man. it. Yeah. I need. To, I need. And... To... <laughs> I need to check it out. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It is um fantastic. So um. For those for those playing at home, who are you, and and what and what, and what do, podcasts aren't you on? Oh man, that is a question. Yeah, it's it's easier to ask me which podcast <laughs> I'm not on <laughs> anymore. Uh, hi, my name's Dan Finity. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and tw- TikTok at Dan Finity, where the eyes are else. You can also find me on Twitch three days a week, twitch.tv forward slash Dan Finity. Uh, I am a Twitch streamer primarily but i also make a ton of podcasts and uh i would say uh so i'm a co-host on planet destiny podcast every sunday at 7 p.m eastern <laughs> i am <laughs> i am the host of beardo which is kind of like um it's a community it's more like community podcast like i just invite people on and we just shoot right. the shit it's it's not nice. so much about games or anything it's just about like the the premise is it's like I ask you a random question from a random uh, question generator. We play a, an acronym game uh, where I mostly pull the titles from, and then we like, and then I ask a meaningful question based on my relationship with that person. And so they're they're usually like half an hour. This week, I think tomorrow, well, last week if you're listening to it today will be my my friends Sean Bartley and Sean and Sam Bartley and it's a double wide so it's like an hour long but uh oh, so we nice. yeah doing that and then uh we started a podcast with the D flawless uh about the MCU we're going through the uh Falcon and Winter Soldier series episode by episode called Mar- Marvel Topics and then I think I believe that's all the podcasts I'm on now i think now for now yeah <laughs> next so, um, week check back next week who knows it, i could be <laughs> you, could, you could have another three um, yeah you, you could be starting your very own dan cast and yeah it's just, it's yeah. just dan's i'm, I'm getting in, co- in contact with donna the dan fractured winky i'm gonna uh myself uh andow's dan uh epic dan who's another dan that i know these are all the dans i know these are all the dans i know well, it's a good, that's a good place to start. And I think five's a perfect amount for a podcast, yeah. right? 
Uh, so, oh, Dan Drumstone. All right, yeah, there we go. Six. Yeah, six. Even six number. Man. I like it. Yeah. You yeah. can rotate them out. You have three and three each week. We're on yeah. the game. <laughs> we'll never have a quorum. Like, we, if you get us into a room to vote on other Dans, like, ugh, there's a, there's a chance it could be 50 50. Fucking terrible. Love it. <laughs> oh, God. So, so, podcasting obviously is something you, you enjoy. How, yes. how, did that, how did that start for you? Um, so I started listening to podcasts, uh, probably, oh God, I don't, I don't even know how long ago I started listening to, I just know, I I started listening to them because I worked at a library and you would have to go out and shelve, um, in the stacks. And there was like some of the carts that we'd get took like an hour to 45 minutes. On top of that, I also was driving from a town called Muncie, uh, into, uh, Indianapolis for work. So if that was a 45 like minute commute both ways. So I had a lot of time on my hands just to take in information. And I saw I, like, I used to be in bands and stuff. I used to listen to albums, but then I started listening to NPR and like that led me into like uh radio lab and all sorts of stuff. So I, I, I just like taking in information like through osmosis <laughs> almost uh, and that has led me to like when I started playing Destiny. Um, there were a lot of Destiny community podcasts like really early yeah, on, and so like was, uh... Guardian Radio, um, like just there. There are too many podcasts. I will. I will be the first one to say there are too many podcasts. <laughs> and coming uh, from you, that's that's a that's a, that's a rather large call. Yeah, yeah. And so, but I've I've that started my journey into listening to them. And then, um, about four years ago, I joined destiny tracker and was on, was a co-host on their podcast. Granted, it wasn't like my setup wasn't what it is now. It was, I was literally on my phone calling in through a discord call and they would record it. They would record it on their end and I would get yelled at constantly because I would peek out <laughs> the audio <laughs> uh, with my laugh. Uh, so if you get that complaint, just let me know. It's not nothing new. That oh, man, they can, they can so your, your laugh is rather divisive. I've noticed. Um, I've, I've, been, I've been following either, you for, for a while and it's like people you love either it love it or hate it. Fucking hate yeah. It. And it, it's Woo. the weirdest thing to like to like, I mean, I know people get weird about other people's laughs occasionally yeah. but it's like I've, I've never seen such this, this like divisiveness over one person's laugh generally yeah. it's like a unanimous kind of way and you're, you're, yeah. you're straight down the middle man it's it's impressive i'm kind of fine with it like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know there's... you don't have much of a choice it's... really <laughs> yeah it, de- it depends on what platform you're on like if if you're like if you're on twitch it seems like people in like go to see the laugh it's kind of like going to the zoo and like you just you see a hyena off in the distance and you're like, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Is he going <laughs> to do it? And then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> and, oh, I did it. Yay! Like that kind of thing. You also have uh, the YouTube crowd for like, well, maybe it's specifically Planet Destiny's comment section. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, they're just like, does he like say anything? Does he like? He's just laughing all the time. I can't tell if he's laughing, if he's talking or not. So I don't know. Communica- it's a new form of communication through through primal you know sounds. What? In this day and age, when we're so divided, it like if we can have one universal language and it be laughter, perfect. Yeah, I'm down perfect. with it. Yeah, absolutely love it. So yeah, that's a uh, but yeah, that's that's how I got into podcasting, uh, and then so I like. After I left Destiny Tracker, I did Side Quest Sunday for a while and moved over to Planet Destiny. And yeah, I've basically been doing the same thing ever since. I, I like either stream and do podcasts or like today I'm going to be editing stuff after I get done with this call. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's it's an ever evolving thing. The ever evolving. Um, so you play a lot of Destiny. Are you, are you still playing now? um quite frequently yeah yeah i would say that like 90 percent of my content on stream is 
um, is Destiny at this point. I, I only stream three days a week. And most of the time, those are the days that I can dedicate to gaming. And so keeping up week to week with the community and helping people, I do a lot of helps on Sundays um, with, uh, with PvE stuff. And especially with Grandmaster uh, Nightfall is coming out. We've been helping people just get through like in-game activities. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of it. But I've been trying to also infuse some variety in there as well. Because I know there's like there's other games that I want to play. And there's other games that I want people to see and possibly experience even if they don't purchase them. Like, um, yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward to um, Outriders coming out. Like I'm I, I, I've, I'm still uh, on that one. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's did you play the demo? It's, I did play the demo. Um, okay. I, yeah. I, 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 I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I was like totally sold on it. But now that the fact that it's coming to Game Pass, which is mm-hmm. fucking huge, by the way, super cheap, super cheap, um, uh, super cheap. entry. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's it's definitely getting me to kind of go all right maybe i'll i'll check it out and like see mm-hmm. if i actually enjoy it and then i might you know grab it on pc or whatever um yeah because you know everything cross saves and cross plays but yeah um yeah. it's it's i'm, I'm kind of uh, on it How, like mm-hmm. you play much of the demo i played through it um i played through it on one character up to like the the end point and i was sold on it immediately probably not for the reasons <laughs> you should be sold on it but uh Oh, let's hear it. So, okay, so I like that it is a self-contained story that they're not that it's not a live game per se. That right, they will yeah. be poss- they they will be doing DLC in the future, and so I'm I'm keen on that. That seems cool. Um, the cover to cover shooting was fine. Uh, I hated the film grain and the motion blur. <laughs> the like I oh, the first yeah. I first noticed the motion blur on that guy's cape. Like he just turns around and there's an insane amount of motion blur on the cape itself. <laughs> and so as someone I pay attention to like uh, when I in my off time when I'm not playing Destiny, I watch YouTube videos mainly about comedy, but like also about like um, production stuff. Right. So right. Uh, I, the Corridor Crew channel, Corridor Digital, uh, that group of guys, I really enjoy their work when they talk about um, uh FX or um, special effects guys react to like I think I've different seen a few scenes. Yeah, yeah, they're really great because they will point like <laughs> through watching that. I've been able to pick up on a lot of <sighs> just has it ruined a lot of things for tropes. You? Well, it's just like <laughs> anytime I see that much motion blur on something, I'm like, bro, all right, you got to do that down just a little bit. <laughs> or like if I see a real like. If I see, like, a, uh, we were watching the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there's a scene where these guys are in squirrel suits and they're going down a canyon. It sounds way more whimsical than it actually is, but they're flying down a canyon and you could, like, they tried, they did their best to comp it the best that they could. Uh, the lighting is wrong <laughs> on some of the guys. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I'm, that's, so, I'm up to that point in that episode. Like I stopped yeah. watching because I was like tired and I was falling asleep. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this and rewatch the start. Now, yeah. I, I, oh no, <laughs> the the lighting is just a little bit wrong, and it like that's the worst visual effect thing that's in that episode. And oh, it was just it, yeah. So it was just like I can I can see that and point it out now, but. Like, that's not on the average person. When I was playing it, I was having a hoot just because, like, it is so... (sighs) It is what I expected and not what I expected at the same time, right? It is third-person cover-to-cover shooter, uh, a la, like, Division or Gears of War. Probably more Gears of War. Yeah, they Uh, made, um, they made Judgment. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where a lot of that's kind of come from. Right. And so, like, that, that I can understand... I'm I'm into it. Fine. It's it's something that's different than Destiny, so I'm okay with it. It has loot. Cool with it. That means that in in world tiers, that means that I can spend time with it if I want to, or if I just want to play through the the title and just be like, okay, it's done. I can wash my oh, hands of it. Bye. There's yeah, like I there are a lot of live service games now that you can be drowned in, 
Yeah. And occasionally you need to take time away. And I'm glad that Destiny did the thing where they're like, we're going to do these seasonal challenges every week. You can do them all as you wish. If you miss a week, it's fine. You can come back and still complete them. That, to me, means that I can, like, if I'm not feeling Destiny one week, I can go over here and play this game. And so, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I had a similar thing. I got, I got quite, I got quite burnt out with Destiny. I even, even like trying mm-hmm. to come back. Like I'll, I'll come back for like the new like main story stuff, and I'll, I'll play mm-hmm. through that. And even by the end of that, it's like, oh, you need to go to all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I, I just want to. I'm, I'm more, in, <laughs> I'm more interested in the story. I'm just gonna go and watch law channels now, and I'll, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, but my, uh, yeah, my so land is be, definitely be, gonna get a few views. <laughs> Oh, Del, yeah, he, like, he, he, he's been feeding me the story for fucking years because I'm like, I don't know what's going mm-hmm. on. I'm just punching shit, man. Fucking. <laughs> I just got synthesis on and I'm punch, punch, punch. So exactly. Good. How yeah. did you know? Um, I, I figured you were a Titan main. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see how it is. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I've um I've been into more single player games recently. I've been catching up on a lot mm-hmm. of backlog, which is which has been good. So I'm I'm three quarters of the way through Control at the moment. Um, oh yeah, is, oh, how are you liking it? Fun. I love it, man. It is just the right amount of fucking weird. And mm-hmm. I'm all about it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. the, 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 I have I have some gripes with it. Um, the, the, the getting around the map and like reading the map itself is a real pain in the mm-hmm. ass. It doesn't make okay. a lot of sense. Um, I so, find myself getting lost quite a bit. Are you using the signs in the corridors, or are you actually using the the game map? Both. Both. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I remember so I, I just, when that came out. When that came out, people were like, "Oh, the signs are actually signs." pointing you in directions that you need to go that's they never do that why is why are they doing that in this game that's such a huge improvement and i was like yeah i mean i'm yeah. into that yeah yeah <laughs> <I didn't... laughs> it's it's fine yeah but aside from that it's it's fun the combat's fun um mm-hmm. the upgrades are hella fun being able to like control people and then just like boop them off the edge so bye mm-hmm. and then throwing bodies of people is always a good time i mean yeah have you done any of the side missions like try to get any of the artifacts yeah i've done like the I've dark mirror couple. yeah i've done i've done the mirror i've done the fridge okay the fridge was fridge is fun. good yeah um and there was there was another couple oh what was it that was like a was it a record the clock player? The clock room is cool. The clock one? The, I hated the yeah. clock one so much. I sucked at it so fucking bad. And it was like, all right, so I need to float here, shoot when he charges up, and then and that yeah. was fine, right? I was like, all right, that's cool. Yeah. And then the enemies started coming. I don't hate flying enemies. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck games and put fucking flying enemies in games because I hate aiming. I don't like it. <laughs> and oh, boy. So I'm just like, fuck, all right, it's fine. Hi, yeah camera there we go um <laughs> oh it's I'm, I'm good um yeah and yeah so they just kept fucking me up because they were coming left right and so i'm like oh and then eventually i figured out if i just keep running away from me they never catch up yeah and then you just, yeah. you just run around in circles and throw clocks yeah. at things yeah i did i like i think that's all i did i think i ran counterclockwise to like how the boss was moving yeah and then yeah that's how that's how I took care of that. But the mirror boss, when you fight your like, like your your dark self, oh, yeah, that is good. a really fun. Like, yeah, oh, well, if you where, whereabouts is that? I'll have to look out for it. I can't remember exactly. I, I want to say it's in research, research and development, but I could be very wrong. Okay. But there's I'll, like um... a neat little puzzle where you have to make everything kind of like line up on each side. And then it opens the door so that you can you can touch you touch the mirror and then you're in a direct reflection of your reality. It's so cool. Oh, that is wild. I love it. <laughs> Fuck yes. I will, yeah. um, I'll have to get back to that very shortly. Um mm-hmm. I have I have I have a lot of games going at the moment because I have a yeah. short attention span. Um Cyberpunk Understandable. Half played, staring at me. I uh so I I played let me pull up steam here. I can tell you how many hours I played of that game before. Like I gave up till they fix it. 
in in some major way. Um, ten hours I played ten hours. Yep. Just because of how jank some of the systems were, I enjoyed most of my time with it, but there was just too much jank around the corners. Yeah, for me to yeah. like. I was I was a bit like that as well. Like, I I, lo- I love I love the stories and the world they've built, like it, it, like mm-hmm. how how it is thematically, but just everything else is just kind of PlayStation three days. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, and, and yeah, it's just—it's very Grand uh, Theft Auto. It's very Grand Theft yeah. Auto-y, which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. I just yeah, I, I, yeah. I'll go. I'll go back to it eventually. But I'm just—I'm not in a rush to finish it because they're a they're working on it, and b I, I'm not yeah just I'm I'm fine with taking my time with it and coming back to it when it's a more polished experience if it ever gets there. Um, mm-hmm. I think they released a new patch oh, this week or last week, 1.2, or they're yeah, talking about yeah, it. Well, yeah, I think, I don't think they were, well, no, they did release it, or they, they're talking about releasing it, it's supposed to come out in the next couple weeks, or something like that, or maybe the next month, but it, like, fixes yeah. cop behavior, and I think driving a little Does bit. It replace the cop behavior entirely, because that's what they need to do, I feel. I think what it does instead of i think weren't they wasn't the issue that they would just spawn up on top of you yeah they would literally teleport onto your car and it's like, oh hi, yeah please see here now now they just <laughs> now I mean, they spawn off in a corner and then they run up to you instead is what right, it's okay. that's what it seems so, um because i mean if that was if that was an effective if that was a police maneuver these days it'd be quite effective just bam teleport comes <sighs> here hi oh, i mean man. it could cause some issues but it would yeah. save them driving. Teleportation. We need to get on that. <laughs> oh man. You're saying that to somebody who lives in America. <laughs> <laughs> and no, nah, yeah, dude. Man, we don't what? need uh, that. that we'll we don't need that. Back. If anything, they, if we can get them to spawn somewhere farther away, great. Please. <laughs> and run and run. No cars for them. Mm. They, can just, they can just jog around the corner. <laughs> Maybe run an empathy algorithm. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, our um our our, pri- our prime minister has uh, a, a has empathy training <laughs> so maybe oh. we can like set, send our guys over your way and we can give them all empathy training it might work maybe i mean maybe. like i don't i don't think it'll work no <laughs> not after last summer but uh <laughs> geez louise anyways sorry to bring yeah. it down sorry no, no. <laughs> it's, good. it's fine this is fine, fine. I mean, like, that's the thing though man like this is this has been like the last couple like last year and a bit like this is this is yeah. what the reality of everything is right now and it, it's fucking it's not good um well it's so there's a lot of good come out of it but like it's it hasn't happened in the last couple of years it's just been brought to light more i think like coming from where i come from and having like some of the political beliefs that i have um the past few years have been like utter dog shit <laughs> and like <laughs> It's not like it wasn't. It was just the oppressiveness of everything coming at you all the time. And then in the last year, you had nothing really to take your mind off of it except for like you had you didn't have anything to take your mind off of it, really, because it just kind of kept rolling. Yeah, but even that goes so far. (laughs) Like and but like, yeah, so it was just like the constant reminder that you're in that this is your reality and this is where you are. And I don't know. I, I got sad a lot, <laughs> but, yeah, but I, 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 I got there a bit as well. Um, yeah, I think yeah, a lot of people did, but yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's been a, it's been a hard couple of years and I think it's given a lot of people, hopefully a, a lot of perspective on things too. And like, Mm-hmm. Uh, because you know, like they've, they've had they have nothing else to kind of distract them from what's been going on. They can't just like bury their heads in the sand. It's like it's there in your face, and it's like mm-hmm. this, this is shit that needs to be addressed. Yeah, and so and some that is like his like his historically, you know, especially with us, is like that there has been some shit that has happened in the last year that. I think some good will come out of eventually, but right now it just stinks. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of lost faith as it were in, in 
maybe the system that encompasses it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, video uh, games, am I right? Video games, right? <laughs> <laughs> what else have you been playing? I mean, you've been playing Outriders. Yeah, I played Outriders. Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, like I said, it's just cheesy. It, it's it's kind of like a cheesy 80s action movie. It like, is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that, like, when the spear went through the chest, was not seeing that coming. And then when you get put in this, when you come out of the stasis bit, and the first graffiti that you see on the wall is just a neon pink fuck you. <laughs> yep. Just, I wish graffiti was that on the nose all the time. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Just, yeah. No, just fuck like, you. I just, I just woke up. I just woke up. <laughs> You're going to do, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, but yeah. Didn't it's, even um, bring me fucking coffee. I just yeah, didn't fuck even you. That's it. Coffee. Yeah, just get a fuck you. And now I'm put in the back of this truck. Now we're Skyrim all over again. Yep. Welcome, adventure. Uh, yeah. So we had you, that. Have you played the? Is, I think it's a side mission. I think where the uh, with the guy that gets shot. Like just out oh, of nowhere. Miss uh, Mr. Chang. Is that it? This the shop owner. No, 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 no. Oh, the shop okay. one was really fucking cool, though. Maybe it was a main yeah. one where there's like, you walk out, there's like that big fucking behemoth and you help out a bunch of like enemy faction get out of a hole. Or you go to. Oh, no, I haven't played that one. Oh, All right. This, sounds like I'm booting up. Yeah, there's um, this like a really cool side mission. Um, I don't know what it's connected to. But yeah, you go and you, you, I think it's out in the, the free room world. You've got to go find one of the commanders. Mm hmm. Follow that. Um, there's a okay. hilarious, there's a hilarious and like just absolutely amazing cutscene in that that you should definitely <laughs> experience. All right, I will definitely. <laughs> I'll I'll have to go back to it. I haven't done any other characters or any other classes or anything. I plan on playing it on PlayStation Five since it's crossplay. Um, they those and exist. I so I might have had a line on one, and so oh. I I actually yeah it exists for me much like Eyes of Tomorrow it exists for me. <laughs> and so <laughs> but um yeah so I, I that's why i plan on playing it just so i can like put take some load off of my computer um while playing but uh or while streaming but um yeah there's that one i i've been playing valheim lately uh which is the I'm viking afterlife that. game yeah i i i, I, I I've, I've watched a few okay. people play it it looks interesting what so you sound like you have like something's holding you back what is it sir? The, my my time commitment mostly um okay because I, I i i do i do don't mind a good survival game. i'm a I, I have a love-hate relationship with minecraft and i have for years <laughs> because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll play it obsessively for months and i'll say you know mm -hmm. i'm not touching this for like a year and a half and it's fine by um so yeah I, I i i don't have a lot of time to like really sink into it and really like appreciate mm -hmm. it i also hate arc and i don't know why okay. arc vibes in that um i don't i played arc for maybe uh, 10 hours of my that this is dumb i hate yeah it. i i i can't i mean throwing poop was great for the first two hours but yeah. then the dinosaurs found me and i was kind of fucked after that i'm like eh, no it's too hard now i don't want to See with this, I, it has like some sort of like weird charm to it. Like I never got into Minecraft, I never got into Ark, um, but this, the, like I don't, I haven't played many survival games either. The the graphics being like almost PlayStation Two era, but with like new lighting engine stuff is kind of fun, and I find myself, I I found. When I lo loaded in, I started wanting to build a house for myself or build like a lean to, but then found this house out in the woods and just fixed it up and started using that as my base of operations. And now it's like on game day 10 of it. I, I don't know how many hours I have in there, but I'm finally like getting geared up to do the first boss. And it feel I feel powerful, man. It It feels like a game that I can just like put on relax i'm not like 
I have goals. I have things that I want to do, but I can also like run around and just kill boar for a while if that's all yeah, I want to do. It's one of those games you can just mindlessly play and do whatever, right. and just take 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 your mind off shit and have yeah. fun. Yeah, I play games a lot when I when I edit, like when I'm listening back to audio, but, and yeah. that just kind of like it helps me focus a little bit. I don't have the game sound on, helps me focus. I'm I'm doing something else while listening in the background. If something happens, it's like oh. There we go. <laughs> and so that's that's kind of like been my process for three three years now. Like Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. much the same. I'll, I'll normally have something going on the second screen while I'm kind of listening back to make sure there's anything wrong or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just fix things up. And yeah, you just kind of either I'll do either be someone's stream or I'll just I'll just flick a, a casual game on and just let let the audio go and see what happens. Right. Yeah. So like it's just it's because sitting here staring at a blank screen watching waveforms is fucking ugh. yeah it's mind numbing. and uh, like in my in my like youth in my youth when I was in a, in bands and stuff uh the first time that I ever had to sit in on like an uh like a mixing session uh, or with with our engineer yep. Like he was doing stuff and he was having a good time. Me, like I was, like I don't know why I insisted on being there the entire time to watch him mix. Like it's not like he's not going to do his job. <laughs> and, like, and like, and like, but I was bored like ninety percent of the time. I'm like pacing around, reading books, all sorts of stuff while he's mixing. And like occasionally he'll be like, "What do you think of this snare hit?" It's like, "Ah, uh, that's fine." And he's like, "Okay." And then he goes right back into it. Right. <laughs> so it's like, just the occasional second opinion, just just for the hell of it. Yeah. So it's, I mean, staring at waveforms can be can be really boring at times. And uh, on on like a podcast level, when it doesn't need to have so many like minute touches to yeah. it as like as maybe music does. Um, it's a it's a little bit easier to get away with. Like, okay, I'm gonna play this game for a little while, and then oh, look at this! All right, I'm gonna take out that keyboard. Damn, yep, it's gone. Now it's I'm going back bite. to this. <laughs> yeah, going I, I, this. I, I I I get to a point now where I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna like, I'll, I'll if there's any major issue, like there's a there's a Discord error or something mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'll fix that. Sure. But if it's me like accidentally punching my microphone or whatever, I'm so like, you know what? Fuck it, it's staying. It's yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 effort greatly outweighs the need to fix it sometimes. That was kind of the impetus for Beardo because I found my like when I when I did Side Quest Sunday, I was like obsessed with the quality of it, right? Yeah. I was obsessed with the quality not only of the like conversation, but also like the sound. And if we did interstitial stuff, like any music, things along those lines, I was just obsessed with get getting it right making it sound timed out and planned and and going from there. When I started Beardo this year, it, it, well, in Side Quest Sunday, like kind of like ran me into the ground. I just got burnt out from it, um, from all sorts of things. But with Beardo, yeah. I was like, I'm not going to put any pressure on myself. If I miss a week, I miss a week. If it's not out on Wednesday, it's not out on Wednesday. If uh, it sounds like... I was originally recording using Craigbot, which you know how spotty that can be sometimes. <laughs> Never heard and of oh, okay, so it's a Discord bot. That right? Okay. Yeah. So you start a call in a Discord server. You invite it into that room that you're recording in, and then at the end of the recording, if people pop in and out, um, it creates individual recordings of each person. Oh. But it's based on the Discord call quality. So oh. eh, <laughs> the realization. <laughs> so like you had if it's really um if it's really good quality stuff, then you're gonna be you're gonna be getting their line no matter what. Occasionally I, I stopped using it and started going back to the old way of doing things. Um just because it would drop out so drastically that it was unlistenable, or I'd have to cut out Whole huge chunks, chunks of the conversation in order to make it sound like it was part of the conversation and, and that's so the hardest part right like, yeah especially when you're like because I've, I've had to do that before it's like all right we've we've had to like 
chop this out. We've we've done it again, kind of, but it's it's not the same. And you've mm-hmm. got to try and make that sound cohesive. And it, it right. can get it can get weird at some points. Like I had an episode while and... maintaining context. You yes, have like exactly. And if you don't do it right, then it's going to sound like a little whiplashy. But if you like, there are inflection points in every conversation where you can kind of like just kind of like just kind of finesse it in and it'll work i don't know why that is it's probably how we speak (laughs) it's like (laughs) naturally (laughs) maybe it's a creature response i don't know but there's there's ways of of editing it in so it doesn't sound like you miss much the the, if all else fails throw a backing track in there and just hide everything yeah um, the one that I had to do that m- the most with was Green Eyed Music Lover. I don't know why Craig decided to like crap out that day, but mm. there, like, there was a whole section of the conversation that just got lost, and so I had to like go in and just make sure that it lined up ever so slightly, just to get it right. And I, I feel like it's a good episode because, like, because I was able to take that time and 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 work that in it it could have gone south gone. real quick <laughs> yeah. i um i had an episode um uh, a while back um and it was just after i just upgraded to an xlr mic mm-hmm. from a usb and thinking oh it plugs in sounds fine awesome looks fine cool went over <laughs> to my recording software and don't did the episode didn't check the audio this time i don't know why i don't i do audio Ooh. checks every week this week i didn't fucking check and it recorded the entire my entire voice in mono as opposed okay. to stereo and my guest was in stereo so i was just coming through the left ear yeah and i was like oh oh fuck. so it did mono one it did mono one side what what this is for everybody listening. I'm sure this is. <laughs> <laughs> they're learning. Yeah, they're learning. Also, was it high? Wake up. <laughs> Jesus. So we're going out of focus like, today. So it was it was panned hard to the left. What what audio software do you use? Do you use Audacity or no? I'm recording. My, I'm recording through Streamlabs because I record oh, okay. video as well, and I use that for YouTube. Because originally we were doing like back when this was like a, a games news podcast it was more structured yeah. um and so we'd, we'd we'd stream it live on youtube and we'd upload that to youtube as well so we figured why not do both and this is kind of the, the easiest way to do it this way i can have a cool overlay on it and all that kind of shit yeah um and i already have the setup for us it. so it's like fuck it whatever i mean i have audacity <laughs> there if i ever wanted to use it mm-hmm. um and yeah, so it's, I, I think it was OBS was working fine because OBS is for my stream stuff and then I have Streamlabs for my podcast stuff so that I don't have to fuck around with too much stuff. Cause that's, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. It's, like, it's, like having, it's like having Internet Explorer for one thing and then Google for another just so you don't have or, to worry like, about the logins and shit. <laughs> well, I mean, that's probably a I, bad comparison. It's, it's like, yeah, it's like having Internet Explorer for your podcast but like having like whatever edge is like microsoft edge their their yeah. new one yeah <laughs> it's like having two versions of the same thing on your computer <laughs> yeah but it means i don't have to remember logins i don't have to change things i'm like this is good. there you go you know, i like this system and um after yeah. we're done here i'm good we're gonna have a conversation about obs profiles <laughs> and getting you set up <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> um but yeah, so and that also means I've got to move on my shit. But yeah, so stream I've decided yeah. no, we haven't we, we we don't like this new microphone and I had to go through mm. and make it sound like I was coming through both sides, which was fucking that took me hours. <laughs> and it still yeah. sounded like shit, but I was like, fuck it, this will like I was like I was coming through both ears, but I was just really quiet. And I'm like, you know what? That's that's fine. I, I that's better than coming yeah. through one ear. I'll, I'll Sometimes that's it. who you are that day. Yeah, Sometimes exactly. that's who you are that day. Just a little bit. You can't quieter. sweat it too much. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, audio is the fucking yeah. worst, man. I hate it. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love it. I really love it. And that, like, it, I don't know if it's like the editing portion that kind of zens me out. That I, I love two things in this life that really zen me out: doing the dishes and editing audio. I don't know why those are the two things. 
I just know that those are the things where I'm like, I get, I'm, I'm the most in what I'm doing. Right. Right. It's yeah. like, I, it, it's, I, I've got stuff going on in the background, but at the same time, it's like, I'm in, I'm, I'm doing the thing. And at the end there's, there's benefit. <laughs> and so weirdly enough dishes is one for me as well but on a different level because i, I I'm, a, I'm a chef and i work in commercial right. kitchens um occasionally if like you know it's like I, i'm not needed in service i mean you know i can't be fucked thinking i'll just I'll pop over the dishes and just and just vibe man and just wash dishes yeah. and just pump them through yeah. the machine pump them through the machine and, and it's a good time you know you, there's no there's no stress or no pressure you're getting something done you're being productive but you don't have to think about it and it's kind of right. nice yeah it's it's just it's it's the the wax on wax off thing, right? <laughs> like you're just you're We're getting just... me argued by jobs. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. You're getting like chore, chore, chores are treat, teaching you how to be like how to be mindful. How do you feel about that? <laughs> have you watched the um the new Cobra Kai series? I have not. No, you have not. I, oh, I, it is. I have very little time. Uh, I, I find this out about myself. It, like I, I love making stuff. And so I just make stuff all the time. Uh, occasionally that leads to existential problems. Like I've had this week, <laughs> but like <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Uh, when, when it's like, um, I, I take very little time for myself to relax and read something or like to watch TV. Uh, I think like, even the Falcon and Winter Soldier thing is a form of work because <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, you're doing it for a, a yeah. study, so it's a, you're, yeah. you're paying attention to very specific details and yeah, right. I'm watching it for a podcast to then release and hope that people enjoy my opinions on it, right? But mm -hmm. like at the end of the day, that's still work. And there's I, the one thing that I'm not there's uh, I'm doing two things three things right now that aren't necessarily work that are more for enjoyment. And it's like, I'm watching attack on Titan because everybody keeps talking about it. And I keep hearing that it's a really good like anime. And it's been a while since I've gotten into a good anime. Uh, I'm reading Jonathan Hickman's run on uh, the X-Men right now. <clears throat> Pardon. Oh, how is that? I saw you. I saw you post something about that earlier, earlier <clears throat> today. I think it was. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to. I need to get on that as well. I need to get more I, comics. I started very late with comics, and I need to catch up. How familiar are you with with Jonathan Hickman as a writer? Not Have you read very. any of his stuff? Okay. So, Jonathan Hickman is one of my favorite comic book writers of all time. Um, and he earned that trust with Fantastic Four, which is not a book that I thought he would earn that trust with. Um he was able to take this family that I didn't really care that much about and tie them so intrinsically, like tie them in my mind so intrinsically with the fiber of the Marvel universe yeah. that I can't, I can't see that world without thinking of them now and how they, what they're moving around in the background. Right. That is, that is really <clears throat> fucking cool. Like, I, I I love when that happens. It's like, especially with like shared universes, um, through whether mm -hmm. through comics or movies. It's like, like, how is this affecting whatever else is going on, or how are they involved? Because you know, at some level, they are because of mm -hmm. their history or the, or their their base stories and story arcs. Right, and like, so he did this thing. One of my favorite like storylines in that was the Council of Reeds, in which Reed has been invited. It and there are like. So old school comic tropes, right? Like just ideas that you think it would have been stories previously. Like this is a story that probably would have come out in the sixties or something I, like that. I think, I think <clears throat> I've heard of this one. This is where he, like, he goes and gets like different versions of himself from other realities. Or so it... he gets, he gets invited to join the council of reeds of oh, which right, they've yeah. all, they've all created a pocket universe where they're going to solve all the world's problems, all their world's problems, the universe's issues. And so they decide to do that. And he slowly starts realizing that in order to devote himself fully to this, each of the reads from the different realities has left their family behind. And he's like, 
I can't do that. I love my family. <laughs> and that causes a rift. And he also finds out that they've all subjugated their dooms. They've all put like collars on them and basically enslaved their Dr. Oh, wow. Dooms. Yeah. And uh, then the Celestials show up and decide to wreck house. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's, it gets really bonkers and like old school comics, like stuff. And I, I haven't run his read his Avengers run, but I did re- read secret, uh, secret wars just because yeah. I wanted to see him play with so many different pieces of, of the, of the play box. And I, X-Men has been one of those books where in my youth, <laughs> I keep saying that in my youth, I, uh, youth? I'm, I'm yeah, just in my youth, you with, with, with his youth, and you've in my youth, in, the, in my youth, yeah, oh my god, uh, in my youth, I, uh, I was, re- like, I watched the cartoon and everything like that, and reading the comic books didn't really connect to the characters the same way, uh, that like I did the cartoon. Listen to a podcast about that where it's uh, Jay and Miles explain the X-Men really solid, yeah. especially their work when they talk about the Claremont years. And though I haven't read those books, what Hickman is doing now feels like it harkens back to that age where it's like he is he's kind of the showrunner of the X-Men right now. Right. Yep. And everything is is driving towards a purpose. and. The fact that the X-Men, like, not even the X-Men, it's just mutants as a whole. Uh, do you know the premise for it at all? For the mutants as for, a whole? Or? For House of X and Powers of X? No. Okay. The X- House X- of X. X-Men, X-Men isn't something I... I used to watch the 80s show, like the, mm-hmm. the, the 80s and 90s cartoons. Um, yeah. Late to the party with um, comic books themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, but X-Men is one I haven't really got into yet i've been doing i did i did like big runs on um batman uh, i was a big mm-hmm. superman fan from like growing up when i was a lot younger yeah so i i was always kind of in dc and then dipped over for like spider-man and deadpool um yeah but so x-men is something i haven't really fully delved into yet which um i'm, mm-hmm. I'm excited to do because it is such an incredible kind of group of yeah. people and like some yeah really cool stories come out of it if you're going to do it, I think now's the time because this storyline is kind of like it's it's them taking the pieces of whatever was left over of the X-Men after like years of kind of floundering. They weren't really doing like after Marvel started making their own movies, they didn't really do too much with the X-Men. That was that was yeah important. And like this feels like the first major work back. Where it's like, oh right, yeah. Everything's kind of tied back together. Everything like, they're they're now living on the mutant Krakoa. They're now like creating a government for all of mutant kind because they know what the future holds in store for them, and they have to act fast, or else they lose. That is really cool. It's really cool. I need to, yeah. I need to, um... <laughs> yeah. So who who is sorry who is the writer? I'm I'm writing this down. So I, <laughs> memory, I am a fucking goldfish, and I will forget. Gotcha. I'll, I'll get off the cast of like X Men comic. Fuck, uh, what was it again? X-Men. It's a uh, so I would read House and Powers of X, uh, by Jonathan Hickman. House of X is more about like them setting up this mutant nation and setting up yeah. the rules for it, and then Powers of X is actually pretty impressive. Uh, it goes. From zero year to year one to year 10 to year 100 and year 1000 after they've put this plan in motion. So you're oh, shit, not right. only, wow. yeah, you're not Get only seeing history. what's happening. Yeah, you're not seeing, you're, you're not only seeing what's happening right now, but you're seeing how it affects 100 years from now and how that affects 1000 years from now. So it's pretty cool. Fuck yeah, I mean, I'm about it. I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I've got it there now. I'm set. I'll, um, I'll get purchasing on some on some. Books, I mean, <laughs> I would good. love I would, I would love to get the paperbacks. I mean, I, I, there's something yeah. there's something really nice about reading a traditional comic. But um, mm-hmm. I, don't know, I have I have a lot of like I came from a small country town, so finding comics was really hard. Yeah, um, I read so, everything digitally. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I've, I've got to get into digital, which is fine. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, there's something, there's something nice about it. Um, yeah, less paper to... <laughs> to <laughs> you're no, you're not paper. consuming it's as much good. paper. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, I mean, the trees grow back, yeah. right? It's fine. <laughs> it depends on, it depends on what science you follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's... Um, uh, but there's the, uh, the, the nice thing about it is that they've allowed you to catch up with the book month to month by putting like six or seven titles into one compendium each month. Yep. So you can, instead of having to go out and find like all the different books that make up his run, you can like read house and powers of X, which is one book. And then immediately go into Dawn of X, which is six books issues. Number one. And then next month, like. It's oh, it's so pretty cool. It's kind of they kind of spoon feed them to you in order, which is yeah, which is good because that, that's the problem I have with like a lot of audio books. It's like, all right, I'm gonna. I think I, I think the first I started with the I finished the Witcher series not long ago, mm-hmm. and it was like you get to the end of one book, you're like, fuck, which one's next? What's the next one? <laughs> What's the next one? You know, it's like I mean, yeah, and, and they're like, and, and there's a the normally normally they do tell you like they give you an excerpt from excerpt from the next book, and it's like this is from this mm-hmm. book, oh, fuck. and like, but there's that panic. Like, so fuck. He's like, he's like googling. He's like, what the fuck? Where? <laughs> and then it comes on you. Oh, it's fine. And I do it Chrome every shuts time. down on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not today you don't get to learn that information yeah um star wars is another one i've been getting into especially the audiobooks um the the new mm-hmm. one light of the jedi was really fucking good okay if you're if you're a star wars fan at all i i think i'm a recovering star wars fan right. um in the same way that i'm a um, i'm a recovering uh marvel fan i i kind of take trips away and then I come back and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, but it's only if like something is really kind of pulling me toward it. Right. Oh, okay. Like, uh, the, the, <laughs> it's funny that I started an MCU podcast when I'm really not sure how I feel about the MCU. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, a good perspective to have though, right? Because if you've got, say there's like you and one other person, one other person's are really, really into it. You become that yeah. kind of voice of reason anchor and it gives that good a good base for a conversation and a discussion rather than everyone just going yeah. yep it's good that's good yep yep mm-hmm. or no and like the diversity of opinion is always it was good especially right. when it's something like marvel um yeah around infinity war i started thinking oh no so this is just drink more oval team like have, do you, did you guys ever have like the a christmas story in australia like the movie a christmas story i think i remember seeing it at some point yeah Ralph wants a Red Ryder BB gun and his mom's afraid that he's going to shoot his eye out. While yeah. he's doing that, he's sipping on Ovaltine the entire time in order to get this decoder ring. And he get he 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 gets the decoder ring finally and he's he's sitting there and he's he's writing down the message. He's got the message all laid out from the radio program that he's been listening to. He has the decoder ring and he starts deciphering it and the message is drink more Ovaltine. Which yep. is just kind of like his entire childhood is dead in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> just killed right there and then. And more he's just like, it's just an advertisement for more Ovaltine? What is that? <laughs> and so <laughs> Infinity War was that for me. <laughs> You know what? That's that, that's 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 pretty fair. Like I I, I enjoyed the movie mostly. Uh, yeah, it was cool to like. There was lots of like. I think I just liked the Easter eggs, right? Did you see all those, those mm-hmm. cool kind of callbacks to old movies? Um, yeah, and just like lots of neat shit like that. The overall story was like, yeah, all right, cool. This is this is this is fine, and it was it was good. It was to definitely see a, set up. It was set yeah. up for for Endgame, which Endgame to me is is the better movie just because of the heist thing, and uh. But like, yeah, that's how I'm viewing the MCU lately. And it's just like, all right, okay. You want me to drink more Ovaltine? I might not show up to the theater to drink that Ovaltine, but I will definitely drink it in in my own house uh, yeah, when it's like five yeah. bucks or something. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I will watch this when it's available on a streaming service. I probably already have, and it's like, oh, then yeah. I'll, then I'll like, I'll watch it. It's like, um, I I watched as it, um. Fast and Furious spin-off. What was it? Something in Hobbs. With- 
Oh, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was there, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> fuck it, I'm bored. Let's give it a go. And oh I had the God. same afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny and I couldn't decide what to watch one day, and we were it was a Saturday off together, and we were like, well, you know what? Fuck it. This thing that neither of us care about. We don't know who these characters are. We don't know their history. Let's go! And so we do dove in, and we were not disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 just one of those it's one of those movies like you can't like there's no fucking way you can take it right. seriously. But no. it was like it's like all right, cool. I didn't feel like I entirely wasted the last two hours of my life. Like it gave yeah. me something to stare at pointlessly. And, and I'm okay <laughs> with that, you know. I don't even remember I mean, the storyline. I remember that the Rock had his shirt off at one point. I'm like, this is fine. Um. <laughs> I mean, Idris Elba done, is though. Idris Elba is tech is techno Superman, yeah. and like Hobbs and Shaw are there to stop him. And along the way, The Rock holds. Oh my God, the the most insane thing to me is like, <laughs> so they've got all these like little Ripper trucks. <laughs> that are all connected together. Oh, he does, like, he does like the Captain America hel <laughs> helicopter thing. He holds, he, holds, he holds the chains. <laughs> he holds a helicopter to these this line of trucks, and it was it was dumb. It was real dumb. It was the most <laughs> ridiculous shit, and it was all like like because I think that happened in one of the Captain America movies. I think one of mean yes, one of the early it was ones. Winter Soldier, I believe, where he's holding onto a building and then yeah yeah the helicopter yeah the, the, that's the first thing I thought of. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: Hobbs doesn't have superpowers I, th that we know, right? That we know of. Yeah, I mean, he could be a latent superhuman. Who knows? I mean, I we mean, don't know. Look at the guy. He he uh, he's got the build for it. <laughs> I mean, look at those lips. <laughs> <laughs> look at his perfect it's, physique. He's got to he's got to be a superhero. He's got to be a superhero. That's what <laughs> everyone's ever told me. <laughs> you have to have he's the body of lips. a god to be a god, and it can't he's got be Buddha. dreamy eyes. He's got thighs for days. He's got the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the people's eyebrow. Um, <laughs> that's it. All right. I can't. <laughs> yeah, we're done. That's it. Bye. Uh, We've oh lost boy. it to the floor. He's, yeah. he's now laying Dude, down to turn into a podcast. I definitely need more coffee. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> but yeah. No. I mean, like, yeah. It, it, that, that movie's ridiculous. I like watching ridiculous movies. It makes me feel at peace i guess just like and not knowing context in certain instances yeah. but knowing too much kind of can bog you down a little bit it's um one of those things where you just got you start you take it at face value so i'm not i'm not taking this seriously oh yeah and no. and, and then you enjoy it more because if you start trying to pick it yeah like you said it bogs you down he's like no nah, yeah not, I'm not it's the outrider it's the outriders game it's there you go yeah you walk. It's the fuck you on the side of the wall. <laughs> Wake up, it's fuck all you. that. Yeah, exactly. Just first thing you see during the day. I've, it's that kind of stuff that gets me. And like in in the in that Don of X, the panel that I shared yesterday, <laughs> I believe it was like something. Hold on, I need to find this so it I can quote it that, accurately. Um... Be careful uh, those those chips have <laughs> PhDs or something, was it? Oh yeah. It was uh Cyclops, Magneto, Polaris, and uh Aurora, aka Storm, are uh in a facility taking down uh, an, a, a terrorist group. And the this is the line that is shouted in one panel. Uh on your right, on your right, be careful. They're sure to be savvy. All these apes have PhDs. <laughs> and it's <laughs> Like, <laughs> whereas Jonathan Hickman creates these awesome epic ideas for comics, he still is able to slip these like kind of like ridiculous <laughs> one lines in there. That's, yeah, that's, that's what you want though, right? You need that yeah. shit in a good comic because you're like, I mean, there there are a lot of there are a lot of comics that are very serious and very dark, and sometimes yeah. you just need that that lighter note, and it's a lot more fun. Yeah, especially with the X Men. The X Men have long, long been had a history of like being the book that is 
uh, it, it deals with issues, it deals with issues of equality and equity that, uh, long, long before, um, those conversations were like, were had in America where it's like, you know, like gay people and black people and, and people of all races and, 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 and groups can identify with mutants because they are like, they're this metaphor for being something greater, right? For, yeah. for like uniting under one flag and pushing for greatness together. And so it's, um, yeah, man, I don't know. It's a powerful book. I'm very, ex- I'm very excited to see where it goes next. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to, um, I'm excited to get into it. Like, it sounds, it sounds really fucking cool. I, and I actually yeah. always been fun. Um, yeah. it's just, that's fine. We like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. 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 X-Men. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wolverine. Yeah. Do shit. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's the neighbors fine. are going to worry about me now. Uh, um. <laughs> I'm expecting a knock on the door from the uh, from somebody. <sighs> I mean, I'm upstairs. They haven't brought the sniper rifle out yet, so that's good. <laughs> um, We're safe. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell, perfect. I like yeah. it. There you go. There that's you all go. of me. That's all of you. <laughs> well, um, thank you, Dan. Hey, for coming on. Thank, thank you, for having me. It has been a pleasure. It's been a wild morning. I that's didn't know been. that I was going to have this much fun, but I, was... I have. <laughs> I have had um... this much fun. It has, it has been it has been a good evening. It's um been an excellent way to round out my day. Um, I can go to bed smiling yeah. and thinking about you checking your window for snipers. It's gonna be yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I just start doing um, that on stream. People are really freaked. <laughs> just get a laser pointer and just like and it's like oh oh you did not know what you. Door you just opened oh my god <laughs> i am so sorry anyone that watches dead regularly you're all you're all done for <laughs> random just like bops onto your chest and behind the behind you on the screen it's like oh shit so oh man with the so i i've had the great um and humbling duty or not duty but the uh the ability to be able to upgrade my office over the past month. And like, I've been doing some weird production stuff in the background as well. So I don't know. That could be, (laughs) I've got to think about it and how that would work and how Um, it works with TOS, but we can, we can figure it out. I think it's technically you're not, breaking TOS because you're not putting yourself in danger it's more of a gag yeah and okay yeah I think I think you'd be able to get away with it and I mean what's the worst that could happen they twitch will ban you for life it's fine yeah I just get cut down on my prime it's fine yeah (laughs) (laughs) hey you should be going out right go out in a blaze of glory yeah exactly (laughs) once you drop I'm gonna get that ban I'm gonna earn it damn it At number four or five or eight to the list, it'll be fine. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Will do. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this week is a pre-record. I can't give you deals. I'm sorry. It's a new month and my crystal ball is fucked. Um, <laughs> I tried polishing it. I tried turning it on and off again. It's not going. Mm-hmm. So, you don't get deals this week. You get nothing but Dan, which has been amazing. I hope um, that's enough. We'll find. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll get yeah. yelled at by somebody. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be I'll be here reading the comment section like again, again. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, um, thank you for coming on. Mm-hmm. Where can thank you for having me? Where, where where can the people find you? Uh, Shout out your shit. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, Danfinity, where the eyes are You can find me on Twitch three days a week, twitch.tv forward slash Danfinity. If you need any help with anything, don't hesitate to ask in chat. I'm usually down. Um, you can find me on the Planet Destiny podcast at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can find me on Beardo, B-E-I-R-D-O, 
uh, on all your podcast platform of choices. And soon you should be able to find uh, Marvel topics on all your podcast podcast platforms of choice as well. Fuck. Yes. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to keep in touch with our podcast or my podcast? Ow. I don't, this isn't yours. Oh, wait, are you I mean, joining? This, I mean, together do you, do you we've come, shared this time be, together. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so unless you want to join me weekly. I mean, I, you're a nice, you're a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, wow. Like if I had, if I had the time, I would, sir. It's fine. It's okay. No, I'll it's cry not alone. you. It's me. <laughs> I have a problem. Oh my god. But if you would like to find the podcast, Twitter at left underscore pod, Instagram two left thumbs podcast, YouTube link in the description because we are not cool enough for a nameplate with a video of this. And you can watch Dan fall on the floor <laughs> laughing a few times. We'll be up on yeah. YouTube a few days after release, normally the Friday. I'm Deft Puppies. You know where to find me. I'm unimportant. The more important thing is you all have a fantastic week and we will talk at you next time. Bye.